interest in trying to take me out. As has Sabol well, Sabol has definitely taken that interest in trying to take both you and Brandon Wolf out. Yep, and because of that, I'm out of action because of what happened. Well, you're out of action, sort of matches-wise, but yet you still make appearances. I mean, you laid out the sod in the Park Boy series when he tried to help. Um. Arbit no, when he tried to help Sabolva against Arbiter. Yep. Because I wanted redemption. Clearly. Well, anyway. Oh, an uppercut there by. By Zavok. So far, these two Mathodons. Certainly taking it as much as they can to each other. This crowd not exactly on the side of Zavok. There's Zavok one thing. There's one thing you got to keep an eye out. Okay, right Whenever you see Zavok. Zinyak's not far behind, so Mewtwo's got to keep his eyes open as well, just mm. in case. Well, that's the thing. I know that Tails is not here tonight. I know that Tails has stayed behind at the new home of the Brotherhood to look after Lucario. The thing is, I I, I think Hitmonchan is here. I have no idea. I oh. haven't seen Hitmonchan at all, all day. Oh! oh! I have seen That was close! The thing is, I know Zinyak's here because I have seen him. Mm. He was backstage. That's true. And I know that. Mewtwo needs to keep his eyes peeled. So I know. Of course, the irony of that, Mewtwo suffering that eye injury a few nights ago. Thankfully, his eye, as you can see there, it has recovered. In front of the guardrail there. And a bear hug applied. Of course, this night could be full of surprises. Zavok there, definitely applying the pressure there with that. Or he did apply the pressure with that bear hug. And that's the thing about Zavok, he's powerful. You can definitely guarantee that. And now, here's this, um, I don't know what Zavok calls this, but I've seen him do it a few times, but it just looks weird, particularly with that camera angle. But, you know, I was mentioning about, you know, Mewtwo. He's done pretty much anything and everything in CXWI. Oh, win the Rumble. Actually, he has he won has the Rumble. He has won the Rumble. Yeah. He's won the Rumble. He's won the CXWI Cup. Five-time World Champion. International Champion. Arcade Division Champion. Multiple-time Tag Team Champion. Actually, he hasn't done everything in CXWI. He hasn't won the Path of Glory. He hasn't won the Path of Glory. And he hasn't won the European Championship. Well, that's because the European Championship is defunct. Yeah, but he never won it. Yeah. So, technically, he hasn't done everything in CXWI. Will you stop being so contradictory? Oh, my word! Hell, I haven't done everything in CXWI. I've never won the CXWI Cup, never won the Papa Glory. <laughs> and I'm the only man to hold every single championship. Hmm, you are. Actually, no, I'm not. I'm not. Well, there's weird sense here. This has been one of the matters, actually, regarding the titles that is apparently a heavy topic among those who are candidates for the in, man in management. And apparently, from what I've been hearing, a lot of them are talking about titles in and they're preparing up their speeches for um, the CXWI management debates. Yep, and I wonder what Phil's got to say. Phil Mean, of course, he's in the third debate which are actually, of the five people, oh my word, of the five people that are going for COO, three of them are in the final debate. Yeah. And two of them are in the second, and the other two are in the second debate. So the first debate doesn't have anyone going for the position of COO, though one of them could end up as it. Oh, missing that sit on there. And the thing is, if Deadpool finally enters CXWI, uh oh. You two, no! Poisonous bite! How much? How much respect is he gonna get? He's gonna get a ton of respect. What Deadpool? Yeah. Oh, that's true. And look at Mewtwo now. Up to Daisy. Impact. Because he was involved with the whole the battle against Coopism. Yeah. And now, oh boy, Chuck started coming up. Wait a moment! Oh, I. That is it, Yak. Like yeah, I said, just clobbered. You two with the brass knucks. 
well, gee, man, you called it. Because they are never, they always travel together, so that's what I was thinking. Well, of course, they're, that's not true. When Zinyak was in hiding, Zavok wasn't. Zavok must have traveled here alone. But, my bottom line for right now is you're right out of the brain buster. Look at this now. Double brain busters there. Playing out Mewtwo. And now. Oh, look at these two. Double choke slab. And like I said, ladies and gentlemen, Tails isn't here tonight. We don't and know. We don't even know if Hitmon Chad is here or not. Those are really the only two that could help him. Oh god, look at this! Now! Double team there, and now what? Oh, Zavok! He's got Mewtwo by the throat! Choke Slab City! Looks like we're going to be crowned the new international champion. One! You have a right, Dad. Or winner, and the new CX Double Zabuk is now a two-time champion. champion. Zabuk! That is true. He lost the title to Mewtwo, and now he's regained it from Mewtwo. In his... Well, he pretty much cashed in his rematch clause, comes out as champion, and now who the hell is going to stop Zabuk again? Let's pick particularly with Zinyak in his... by his side. They're going to be doing everything. Make sure that Zavok just keeps that belt. You saw there, that was the choke slab that put Mewtwo away. That sealed the deal in Why Wait a moment! Well, there's him on Janet! And there's a kid! The last we saw Blazer Kid was. Wait a Moses! I thought the Cyber Nightmares were destroyed! And. Wait, I don't look! What? He's so not being made by these two! By him on chat and by Blazer Kid! But. Well, something here doesn't make sense! Those legs! They just look like a natural pair of legs that Blazer Kid would have had prior to them being destroyed! So how has he got the back? I would. Unless this. Unless that's a different place again. Um. I'm gonna win Tails. That has got to be a different one. Oh no, look at Zavok! I'm gonna win. No! Uh -oh. oh! I'm. What? Well, bottom line! Now oh, him on Chad there! Where's the flamethrower? No, it's definitely the, the same Blaziken. But how can it be? Those are natural Blaziken legs. He had them ripped off. That can't be the same one. And now look. Oh, what? Oh, a bomb. That's definitely the same Blaziken. Right, I sent a text to Tails. Well, I think you said who can stop these two. I Maybe the Brotherhood. The Brotherhood. Well, all right, people, we now move on, ladies and gentlemen. We saw the two of them. In, we saw the two teams talking earlier. We're now going to see them in action. The tag team titles are on the line. This is going to be interesting. Of course, if there really is a great amount of respect between these two teams, we'll hopefully be able to see it here. The following Tornado Tag Team matchup is set for one ball, and it is 
for a CXWI! Tag Team Championship! Introducing first, from Nashville, Tennessee, weighing at 248 pounds, he is one half of the CXWI Tag Team Champions! Firestar Hot! Of course, Firestar Hot, the first half of the Tag Team Champions, and we probably oh. heard people, Rat Qatar, our announcer for tonight, and is one of the people running for management. I got a response! Okay, people, we've just got a text back. It is the same Blazer Kin. I apologize for thinking it wasn't. Tails has now told us what he did. He created a robotic pair of legs, a cybernetic pair of legs, I should be saying. And introducing his tag team partner from Steelport, weighing in at 233 pounds. He is the other half of the CXWI tag team champions, Tony Gat. And he took part of Blazekid's DNA to recreate well, part of Blazekid's blood to rescan the DNA and recreated the fur around the cybernetic leg why it looks natural so I apologise for assuming that it might have been a different Blazekid but now I've got the answer to that all I'm thinking right now is how the hell how did Tails pull that off? Tails is a very smart person. Well, Did I know who's doing Gentlemen, the champions are have made their way down. Here come the challengers. Well, both of them, former world champions. And as was said earlier about them, the rivalry between the two was pretty well documented. The challengers. Now residing in Vancouver, Canada, weighing in at 237 pounds, Jack Stanbridge! Jack Stanbridge, and as I was saying, the rivalry between Jack and the Arbiter, pretty well storied. Yep, and now he lives in Canada. Yep. Him and Alyssa. Yep. I don't know why I nodded there, because no one can see it. Anyway. Well, anyway, Jack Stanbridge and a real look of determination on Jack's face. When you think of the story that Jack Stanbridge has had in CXWI. I mean, Jack has been involved in some of the most interesting, the most deep, the most complex storylines. Actually, no. This guy has. Well, with Jack. I think there's probably... No, goes, not just with I Jack. I think there's goes as the deepest storyline in CXWI history, considering the fact that I don't wish to re-highlight this. Remember, it nearly drove the arm to the suicide. That is as deep as you can probably go. Master Chief. And introducing his tag team partner from the state of Vada, St. Galios. Weighing in at 328 pounds. Big but of course, Sid Golden Ambitions, and even following the, some of the controversies that follow Jax following Golden Ambitions, and the two of them still, ever since, have been very strong friends. And of course, Arbiter was one of those who was, um, of course, at the event in Hyrule, one month after the fall of Kufism, which saw Arbiter as well as many other warriors honored. Arbiter was, of course, one of them tag gold on the line in this one. Tornado tag rules, remember that. And also, um. I've been speaking to the Arbiter for a little. for the past couple of days. He feels a bit relaxed, but he feels tense. I about a a, something. I think, that's a, I think that's a bit of a contradict. You can't be relaxed and tense at the same time. Nice drop. Well, intense. 